Now the latest Gold Cup betting. Doran's Pride, the 9-4 favourite. Seymour Business at 11-2, very weak. 9-1 Sunny Bay and 10-1 Cyborgo. At 12's Rough Quest and Addington Boy, 14-1 Go Ballistic and Strong Promise. 20's Challenger to Luck at 25's Barton Bank, Cool Dawn and Simply Dashing. 33's Couldn't Be Better and Senor Elba Truti. It's 66-1 Strath Royal, 100-1 Indian Tracker and also 100-1 Yorkshire Gale. John, 20 years since you won this on Midnight Court. How did you feel that day? Well, it was run a month later when I won it on that old horse of Fred Windsor. The ground was almost firm. I think he was favourite and was always travelling like a favourite. This horse here, Cyborg, they're going to go a mad gallop. I'm sure he'll be up there in the firing line. Challenger to look Chris Maud. He'll be able to have the luxury of sitting behind, just fiddling his way through. And he's a horse that if he's back to his best, I think this race might just suit him. Tactics are fascinating. The whole race has been added to the fact there are 17 runners. Calling them for us, Brandon. And Simon Holt, they're lining up here for this turn and goal cut. Rough Quest just taking a turn. Adding and Boy taking a turn. Strong Promise taking a turn. No, sir, no, sir. Oh! That's it, they race away, 22 fences in front of them. And the Yorkshire Gale called on with the early two, with Indian Tracker on the outside in company with Seymour Business, who's racing very wide indeed. But it's called on, the Hunter Chaser is spring-heeled at the first. They're all safely over, Strathroyal the back marker. And it's cool dawn with Barton Bank and Cyborgo, Senor Obertruti and Sunny Bay who hugs the rail. Then the Yorkshire Gale behind these, Go Ballistic Indian Tracker, uh, couldn't be better, see more business out very wide. Simply Dashing and Rough Quest and then Challenger to look, then Strong Promise and Addington Boy, Doran's Pride towards the back and last of all is Strath Royal as they make their majestic progress towards the back straight and it's cool dawn that leads to Barton Bank in second. And at this stage, Doran's Pride, the Irish favourite, has got four behind. And Seymour Business also deep in the midfield under Timmy Murphy. It's Cool Dawn from Barton Bank, then Senor Elba Truti, one of the greys, the other grey, Sunny Bay in a blue jacket. Side ball go next further out from Yorkshire Gales. They take the first down the back. Strath Royal is the back marker at the moment. On towards the fourth, it's the water jump. And it's Cool Dawn from Barton Bank and Cyborgo out deep from Senor Elbertruti and Sunny Bay. And these are followed by Yorkshire Gale. Cyborgo, a very slow jump at the water there, and ridden along on landing by Tony McCoy. Out very wide, couldn't be better, with Seymour Business now getting very close. A big open ditch, Cool Dawn gave it plenty of air in front from Barton Bank. They're all safely over. Cyborgo is close, Seymour Business in the star jacket towards the outside as they head towards another plane. One Doran's Pride is still in the midfield, just jumping it there with about seven or eight behind him now. Nicely placed, really, as they begin a left-hand turn, climbing on the far side. Another open ditch coming up, and it's Cool Dawn and Andrew Thornton. And there's uh, Cyborgo is being pulled up, and he's taken out Indian Tracker and Seymour Business. A dramatic manoeuvre there by Cyborgo. He took out the Gold Cup second favourite at that ditch, and Cool Dawn is left in front, two lengths clear of Sunny Bay, and then Barton Bank as they take another plane fence over in fourth, Senor Elba Truti. Yorkshire Gale was next, and then back in the field to Simply Dashing and Go Ballistic. They begin the run now towards another plane fence. Drama there then. Seymour Business is carried out at that open ditch. He was travelling wide. Cyborgo uh, is injured. They race down towards the fence at the top of the hill and called on leads. Doran's Pride is making ground through on the uh, outside, Addington Boy towards the back, and they begin the descent uh, down towards the fence on this stretch of the track. It is number 10 they're coming to now, and it's Cool Dawn who leads, Cool Dawn at the head of affairs, to Barton Bank in second place, and then uh, Sunny Bay went through it, uh, but uh, over safely in third, followed by Rough Quest, Yorkshire Gale, Senor Albertruti, Doran's Pride the favourite, is uh, on the outside as they come to the dog leg that takes them to the home straight and past their point of departure. And it's Cool Dawn that shows the way by two to three lengths to, in second place, Barton Bank. Then we have Senor Obertruti, Sunny Bay, Graham Bradley has given the rail to no one. Doran's pride behind these. Couldn't be better, sits wide on the course. 
Rough Quest and then Yorkshire Gale, followed by Addington Boy and uh, then Challenger to look. After that one comes Go Ballistic and then Strong Promise, simply dashing and Strathroyd are at the back. This will be the last next time round at which it is Paul Dawn who leads to Barton Bank, who's uh, running a cracking race in second place. Sunny Bay is third and Senior Obertruti fourth. Doran's Pride has sneaked through to share five with the rank outsider Yorkshire Gale in front of Rough Quest and couldn't be better. And then Go Ballistic, after Go Ballistic is Challenger to look Strong Promise, adding to Boy Strathroyal and Simply Dashing. Beginning the run to the 13th now, plenty of cards still to be played. Strong Promise given a patient ride out the bat, still going well. So is Rough Quest. Doran Pride is sitting in a very handy fifth or sixth now. But Cool Dawn continues to take them along from Barton Bank in second. Then Sunny Bay towards the inside, always in the leading three or four. Senor Elba Truti and Doran's Pride and couldn't be better. On towards the water jump once again then. And Cool Dawn is giving Andrew Thornton a great ride in this Tote Chelton Gold Cup, though he met that a little bit wrong. Barton Bank in second then uh, towards the outside getting into it now is go ballistic left of frame and there doran's pride in the sheepskin noseband at the dish all cool dawn paddled over and some rather ragged leaps behind simply dashing is now the back marker strong promise is getting a lot closer on towards another plain one and it's cool dawn over ahead of barton bank bad mistake there by go ballistic Strong Promise goes up into fifth place. Very promising headway as they begin this left-hand turn again towards the open ditch. A dangerous obstacle coming up and it's Cool Dawn on the inside of Barton Bank. Then Doran's Pride landing third with Strong Promise full of running. Go Ballistic follows Sunny Bay the inside from Senor Elba Truti. Rough Quest unseated the rider there. Another plain fence coming up and it's Cool Dawn from Barton Bank. Doran's Pride cantering. Strong Promise on the outside. Then Sunny Bay and Senor Elba Truti, the two greys behind them as they begin to reach the top of the hill now and they're shortly going to run down towards four out and Cool Dawn has led them a merry dance Barton Bank chasing in second Strong Promise then Senor Elba Truti Doran's Pride and Go Ballistic on the outside this is four from home and it's uh, 48 years since the Irish won both the champion hurdle and the gold cup and their hopes lie with Doran's Pride who's in second place sharing second place here the horse with the big nose band Come down the hill, meet this one right, and it's still Cool Dawn that leads. Andrew Thornton comes to it. Oh, he made a slight mistake there, Doran's Pride. Strong Promise is going to be played for speed in second place. And this giant horse uh, is uh, going to be played late, but it's still Cool Dawn that leads. Two Strong Promise in second. And they're about three lengths clear of Doran's Pride, who's trying to find acceleration as they make the final turn. After these comes Go Ballistic, Senor Albertruti, and Sunny Bay. They come down towards the second from home in the two. Cheltenham Gold Cup and Cool Dawn has made all the running but still just has the edge by only half the length the strong promise the inside the Irish way to Doran's pride is in third they come down towards the final fence can Dawn Cool Dawn make all at the last strong promise is the big challenger Doran's pride raising his game now and coming with a strong run they've got 150 yards to go and it's Cool Dawn and strong promise who's fuel it out Doran's pride is in third he's staying on but the post comes in time for Cool Dawn. Cool Dawn wins. Strong Promise is second. Doran's Pride third. Senior over Trudy four. Sunny Bay five. Simply Dashing six. Challenger to Duke seven. And then Barton Bank and Honourable eight. Followed by Strath Royal, Yorkshire Gale. And then Go Ballistic. Addington Boy was pulled up. Couldn't be better was pulled up. And what an amazing uh, result here. An all the way win for a former hunter chaser in the colours of the Honourable Mrs. Dino Harding. Framed by Robert Alder and ridden by Andy Thornton. 